It's a time-honored tradition that combines artistry, technology, and elegance. For centuries, the painstaking craft of watchmaking was considered a fine art. Using only mechanical parts, each timepiece was handmade, and a man might be fortunate enough to own one wristwatch in his lifetime. But over the last several decades, quartz technology revolutionized the watch industry. Powered by crystals and electric parts, these watches were mass-produced and sold cheaply. The craft of watchmaking was dying. The last uh, 30, 40 years have made a big change to watchmaking. Uh, with the introduction of the quartz watch at the late 1960s, early 1970s, uh, many people believed the mechanical watch would disappear. Some independent watchmakers have not only survived, but are helping to drive a resurgence in the interest of handcrafted timepieces. This rebirth is due in part to new technologies that give these fine watches increased accuracy and a wealth of new features. Strangely enough, it's actually uh, this new technology which came alongside quartz uh, technology and then uh, moving into cell phones has enabled us to uh, open a whole new chapter in mechanical watchmaking, harnessing the technology to enable us to be more precise uh, pre and uh, produce more complicated watches than we could in the past uh, with a better level of precision. Today, a fine timepiece may have more parts than an automobile and can take a year to build. Even though this art has been around for centuries, watchmakers continue to achieve feats in engineering and innovation. People who are attracted to traditional watches like the idea of the heritage and the culture of, of watchmaking in general. Oftentimes, uh, they like that it's a watch that, that aesthetically is simple, but mechanically very complex. Avant-garde styles is something, we, we, we started seeing this more in luxury watches uh, it's, it's more recently. Before, the more expensive the watch, the more classic the look, the more timeless it would be. Now people started, started thinking to themselves, why, why can't I have something that's, that's funky, that expresses myself you know, and, and, and still is a luxury item? I want this craftsmanship, but I want something that's suited to me and not for everybody. A newcomer to fine timepieces can be overwhelmed. So many parts, so many details, but a little education can help any novice navigate the rich world of watchmaking. One of the most popular technologies is self-winding wristwatches. These pieces rely on the natural movement of the wearer's arm to recharge the mechanism, no winding needed. Other features or complications as they are known in the watch world are minute repeaters, which can chime the time like an alarm clock. Perpetual calendars, which not only keep track of which months have 30 days and which have 31, but even monitor leap years. Chronographs, which turn an ordinary watch into a stopwatch. And power reserves, which alert the wearer if a watch needs winding. But possibly the most spectacular complication is the tourbillon. Invented in the 18th century to improve accuracy, many of today's watch faces expose the tourbillon a wonderment of tiny gears and levers that offers a glimpse into the precision and patience that goes into watchmaking. It's these tiny details that make mechanical watches so collectible. I think watches are, first of all, a status symbol for men. It's one of the few pieces of jewelry that they would wear. They're also a very good investment. In many cases, they appreciate with time, and especially if they're a limited edition, they become a very rare commodity on the market, uh, and they become uh, very difficult to find. The simple fact that a watchmaker would take this extremely long time to create one masterpiece makes this watch not just a watch, but actually a piece of art, which you can wear on your wrist and uh, be proud of, will be able to keep for future generations, pass along to your, your kids one day, and this is precisely what makes watch collecting so appealing. With a rare combination of elegance and functionality, it's no wonder that despite our digital age, fine timepieces continue to hold a special place in the heart of many. With a boutique in Los Angeles and one in Beverly Hills, West Time is the authority on fine timepieces. The experts at West Time know that no piece of jewelry makes the kind of statement a mechanical masterpiece does. These are not your grandfather's pocket watches. A watch from West Time 
is a bold piece of precision machinery. The intricate workings of a handcrafted timepiece strike a delicate balance of function and fashion. Choosing a watch from Westheim is making an investment in a keepsake that lasts generations. Once we explain the watch and explain the value of the watch, the, 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 the culture and the tradition of watchmaking, it really makes the customer feel more special, more attached to their timepiece, and that's, that's the ultimate goal. Westheim is one of just a dozen authorized retailers of independent brands that are defining the future of fine watchmaking. Brands such as Grubel Forsey, Richard Meal, Erwerk, and MBNF. These luxury brands are propelling innovation and style like only an independent watchmaker can. The inventiveness of today's timepieces make this an exciting time to invest in a watch for yourself or to give someone special. It's a revolutionary time in the watch industry because independent brands have started to take off again. And I think this is because of a shift in consumer attitudes. Consumers became more comfortable without having that long history behind a watch brand. And I don't know if this is a cultural shift towards individualism that I can't tell you, but I can tell you in watches people have become a lot more individualistic. And, uh, and for us it's very exciting because we're, we are huge supporters of, of independent neurology. Westheim is committed to independent watchmakers who create every timepiece by hand. It's the devotion of companies like Westheim who have helped the art of watchmaking survive and even revived this time-honored craft. Westheim has played a, a key and important role in the USA for uh, watchmaking brands and uh, independent watchmakers in particular. Uh, their support and uh, know-how and uh, in-depth knowledge of each different uh, independent brand has helped to maintain and uh, create a strong link with each uh, collector who purchases a, a timepiece. For the sales specialists at Westheim, the art of watchmaking is a passion. Westheim experts know the history of each watch brand the intricacies of the mechanisms and hail from around the world. Whenever you walk into a West Time boutique, you could hear the sales specialists speaking in one of 10 languages. My wife bought me my first watch from West Time about a decade ago. And once I walked through the doors and I saw the selection, I, I was thrilled and I was hooked. This was literally the beginning of my obsession with wristwatches. What puts West Time at a very exclusive level, and I would say a pioneer level in the United States and worldwide, is the fact that they managed to select independent brands in the beginning of their creation uh, that are not that well known worldwide, but are extremely valuable. Only West Time will be able to supply those watches to those collectors. They're the first to get them, they're the only ones to supply them worldwide. And I think this is the best part and that's exactly what differentiates West Time from the rest of the retailers. West Time is, is going to continue being a premier destination for independent orology, while at the same time hosting all these traditional watch brands that really have the heritage of, of watchmaking. We're going to continue focusing on educating our consumers and really finding a, a perfect watch and a perfect match for him and hopefully reach a broader audience in the future. West Time, extraordinary watches. For more information about choosing a fine timepiece, visit westtime.com.